Pretty Photo Video Tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can quickly create a very basic spiral design in Affinity Photo. Now, I've got a grid here and you can see the one of the very basic design spiral designs. Now, it's not perhaps as good as the standard spiral in Illustrator and unfortunately there's no spiral tool in Affinity Photo so that's just a quick way of creating it. So, now first thing to do, I'm just going to actually get rid of that because I don't want to get that there. Now, you can see I've got the grid. That's just a quick way of showing, so you can say show grid, and there's the grid and axis manager if you want to manipulate the grid in a particular way. There's a number of options. Now, then just go over here to the pen tool, set the pen tool, and then just click there, and I can go there. Now, I'm not going to count them out, I could probably go there. It's about 10 or 12. I'm just going to go sort of look, make it look square. So just there. And just going to go there, there, there. And now I could, of course, gone the gap of two or gap of three. I've just gone for a gap of one there. Now, of course, I could have made the grid smaller to make it even closer. So you can just see the spiral design quickly forming. Just that and there. And you can see the general idea. I'm not going to go all the way. Could go all the way into the center. Anyway. So once you've actually done that, what you can do then is you can just quickly go over here to the No tool and I'm just going to select them all and then, now I could use Smooth or I could use Smart. I'm going to go for Smart. Now, straight away you can see the problem, it's slightly skew with there and it's not the best of, but you can tweak it slightly. You can see the spiral's not particularly brilliant there. And you can extend that out there. Right, and obviously you can make different variant spirals. You don't have to have the same gaps. You can maybe have gaps at a little sort of two and then three or whatever. So once you've actually got that, that's the spiral. You can also, of course, then go and change it and modify the width. So you can see the spiral there. And then another option, pressure. So you can actually create more interesting spirals just by doing that. So you can modify that. Now, what I can also do, I'm just going to quickly remove that, just select all of that, and of course you can create more abstract spiral designs using the pen tool. And in this case, I'm just going to go for it's an option here, smart mode. I quite like smart mode. It's uh, so you can just basically click and rapidly create a spiral that way. And it's obviously a more abstract spiral than a standard spiral, but a similar approach and just around and create design that way. Right, once you've actually done that again you can go and modify it so you can create a slightly different spiral design like that. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you very much.